Well, welcome to our championship center. I look forward to giving you a quick tour of what I think is one of the premier basketball training facilities in the country. So this is where all the strength training takes place. When our players show up each day, you can see iPads on each one of the lifting racks. That's called an elite form system, and, and they just press a button, their workout comes on. We can monitor um, the speeds of the bar and really adjust the weights and really pinpoint uh, specific weights that uh, really enhance the guy's performance. Take a look at the gym. The court is state of the art. At center court, we have a huge TV where during practice at any time we can stop and watch video with our guys, uh, which has been a nice addition. Uh, oftentimes we'll stop and in five or six seconds our video guy can pull up the last play from practice. This is our locker room. As you can see we have uh, we have lockers here for our active NBA guys, Kyle Corver in the back. Anthony Tolliver, uh, who's with the Pistons, and then, of course, uh, Doug, who's with the Bulls. Uh, so those guys are always welcome to come back here. This is our uh, player's lounge. Our video wall, we have four 90-inch TV screens and, and three 60-inch screens. Then we have uh, some lounging area down below. We have two Xboxes, a PS4, and the ability to, to really watch anything they want in here. And this is our uh, athletic training facility. And we have a hydrotherapy room in the back. Very similar to uh, what you'll see in NBA practice facilities. Uh, to try to get their legs back and feeling better, we'll, we'll throw them on this underwater treadmill. Uh, and it's allowed them to get back on the playing floor and feeling better much sooner. This is the Academic Resource Center. This is our theater room. This is our office suite. Then on the right-hand side is, is my office. And my son, Doug, has been kind enough to let us proudly display all of his Player of the Year trophies. Uh, if someone's going to be using the conference room and I'm using my office, this wall is actually a movable wall that'll drop down and make this great big space into two separate areas. But as the wall drops, you'll see a beautiful photo of our game day atmosphere. The game day atmosphere at the CenturyLink Center is one of the best in college basketball and in the Big East. In almost every one of the 17,560 seats is a passionate and loyal Creighton basketball fan. You know, we're blessed with one of the best fan bases in the country. When you think about the top five in the country in attendance, and you talk about Louisville and Kentucky and Syracuse and North Carolina and Creighton, a lot of people don't think that fits. And I think that's what makes our fans unique. We are like the only sports team here, really the big sports team here in Omaha. So when we go around the city, uh, we get greeted everywhere we go. As coaches around the Big East have visited not just our playing facility, but a few of them now have seen our new practice facility. When you combine that with an unbelievable fan base, you know, we have something very special here. Well, there's nothing like digging in defensively with 16,000 people screaming. It's always about the name in the front, not a name on the back. And I think that's because of the fans. Going to home games is the most magical feeling. When the video goes up and all the lights go down, everyone in the room is having that same feeling. You know, the first time you get goosebumps and they never really go away. I'll never forget when I took my visit and went into the CenturyLink Center, I was blown away. And you, you couple what it looks like with the attendance numbers and it's a place you want to play. And wherever the team goes, thousands of fans will follow regardless of how far they have to travel. For us to sell the, the second most tickets in the history of that tournament, I think speaks to the passion that our fans have for our team. Thank you for the support that you've given us in times of prosperity and thank you for your continued support during times of adversity. We keep fighting to the end, to the very last whistle blows.